Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a bit different. It's one that I spoke to you guys about doing on Instagram and it is all about my Apple Watch. So basically, I've had my Apple Watch now probably for like three or four years and there has never been a full week where I've completed every single ring. Like not a full week. So instead, I've set myself a challenge for October and that is to do every ring for the whole month of October. We're not far away from 2023 and this year I set myself a challenge to really focus on my health and prioritise it over work and as I mentioned on Instagram, in a nutshell, it's just not happened. Things have got busier, I've got busier with work, I had a bit of a break in summer but it was actually just to enjoy myself and do all the things that we had pushed back from Covid. So here I am trying to make amends before the end of the year by trying to live up to some of the standards that I had set myself. I did complete all of my rings yesterday and I found it quite easy, so it was Saturday. All I did was take the dog for a walk, do some bits I needed to get done around the house cleaning and things like that I've woke up this morning feeling fresh I'm actually also gonna try and not have an alcoholic drink the whole of October so I'm gonna try and do Stoptober whether that happens or not is a different story but I'm really really gonna try um but yes it is 10 a.m. on Sunday the 2nd of October and I'm about to go to the gym which is where I am right now and parts outside I'll also update you on how I have set my watch up so if you did want to start doing this yourself either this month or November then I've updated how to do that and also I've linked down below how you're supposed to set your rings and stuff like that as well so I'm gonna take you into the gym with me now I have just signed up for a new PT so I'm gonna try and do two PT sessions a week and I've also bought a walking treadmill. So I'm gonna take you on this first week journey with me to see if I can actually do a full week of rings and then I'm gonna go for a full month of rings. So. Butternut Box for sponsoring this video because Max appears lots in this video and um, because he's my walking companion um, and he is fueled by Butternut Box it's his favorite this is Max waiting for the Butternut Box man to drop off his Butternut Box this morning Max do you want some food yeah some Butternut Box <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> what is <laughs> like going to the pet shop I feel like it's a lot more specific to his breed age and the fact that he's a fussy eater I love that it asks really specific questions about how much he weighs how active he is and also it suggests how much he should be eating Max likes his butternut box in the microwave and he has to have it on a plate he's not like a normal dog he's very spoiled but what I love about butternut box and why I give it to Max is that it's all natural ingredients I could actually eat this if I wanted to it's all just mince, carrots, peas, it's all natural and he absolutely loves it. Good morning, day three, 7.05 a.m. I am up to get my steps in because today I'm gonna to be filming all day. There's no guarantee I can get out um, and still probably walk the dog today because it's gonna be jam packed. So I told you guys I have invested in a walking pad. So I'm gonna do 30 minutes now, set myself a challenge to do 30 minutes before I get in the shower and start getting ready and watch TV. Max is very scared of it, which I feel bad about, but we're gonna do this. Day three, gonna fill the rings. So far, so good. Literally doing three days in a row I've never done, guys, so I'm excited that I am already smashing this challenge. <laughs> so good for doing that. I've got a hair mask in my hair. I definitely fell off the walking pad. I've got fake tan on that I need to wash off before I film today. But I thought, I've just done it. I've just got up, had a cup of coffee, got on there and exercised in the morning, which I would never usually do. Because it's always hard for me to get to the gym and come back in time and actually have enough energy to want to film all day. Whereas that was just so simple. It was just like a little 30 minute walk on the treadmill. Max slept and snoozed and then we'll probably take him for a walk this afternoon or on two man taking for a walk this afternoon. I'm too busy. But in general, I got up, no problem. Feel good for the day. I'm gonna have a healthy breakfast and I'm gonna be like a smoothie or something with some vitamins in before I start my day. <laughs> I forgot to set it at the start. 
the walk, so I've done an hour, but I forgot to track it. I've got a very little wet pooch. It's day three. It's currently 7.42. I've been in London since 6am. She's done it again. And you can see that. 17,431 steps. My goals today, I've done all of them. I did all of them quite early, but day four. I'm gonna go to sleep now on the train because it's very tight. Right, what's your one? vlogging. Yesterday I worked from home but I had a PT in the morning which is that little clip that I just put in there but forgot to film any other bits and then now I'm at the office, we've been here all day, I've been filming, I've been working and I'm about to go for a walk so I haven't filmed my rings yet and it's in the whole week that I've not filmed my rings but I will make sure I go for a walk this evening. If they're not filmed it didn't happen. Next week's a fresh week, I'll actually vlog next week I promise. Hello! So it is now day seven it's sunday so i have completed my rings every single day last night saturday night was a challenge because i had a really chilled day shall we say so i went for a walk in the morning with my friend and took max for a walk but we like grabbed a coffee and you know it wasn't like a piercing walk and then i got in i had a two hour bath did some work in the bath soak my tan off and I was supposed to start tidying so I thought I'm gonna definitely reach my move goal because I'm gonna start moving didn't sat there watched a film and Anthony made me tea so I didn't even make tea so I literally was having a really chill day yesterday which is where I think in the past why I haven't completed my move goals every single day even if I've gone for a walk whereas this week I've actually been a lot more active in trying to do stuff so if I've gone like oh I need to move a bit more I'll go and clean that or I'll do this or just generally trying to move a bit more and the new office upstairs is where the office is but then downstairs where the toilet is so just generally on a work day I'm moving a lot more so last night it was about 11 o'clock and I was like shit I still need to finish my move goal I think it was like 100 calories that I needed to do before 12 to complete it or the challenge was going to be ruined basically about my lazy day so i was walking back and forth in my bedroom well honestly was in bed looking at me like a crazy person getting my steps in and i completed it i did it three calories over just three calories over my move goal but i did it and now it is sunday we are off on a really long walk with max anthony's here as well we are going somewhere in Harrogate um, for a two hour walk. So I'm definitely gonna smash my move goal today. And I actually prefer sometimes to do this style of move goal because it's just nice to have a day where you're just like with your friends and the dog and you don't even feel, really feel like you're exercising. I will take some videos while I'm out there. Tomorrow I'll update you on if I did the whole week and what the plan is for the rest of the challenge because I want to do this for the whole month. I want to literally have every single ring for the whole month which I've never done. And also today I think I'm going to get three badges that I've never had before which is seven day move goal, seven day exercise and something else but I can't remember but I'll put them all there. Um, which is, I just love getting the badges. I feel like there's just like such a little reward for yourself. I'll update you on that as well. So catch you later. We are 86 minutes in, just over halfway. Max has decided to get in the water, standard. <gasps> oh my gosh, just about to finish. My legs, poor little Maxie, he's knackered. Oh, beep, beep. Oh. Guys, we did it. Don't know if you can see that, but I've done 845 move and the walk was 9.88 km and it was long and it was hard but it was rewarding and I'm so glad we did it and it was such a lovely way to spend Sunday so now we're gonna go and get all our Sunday roast bits and I'm gonna make Sunday roast and I'm gonna have all the trimmings and then we're gonna have dessert afterwards and it's gonna be fantastic and I cannot tell you how good I feel after this week I've had no alcohol for nine days I have been eating better, moving more, and I just feel so good mentally and physically. So let's do a check-in tomorrow about what I'm gonna do to even step it up even further.
guys, I have done the rings every day so far and haven't had a drop of alcohol. I've been doing 30 minutes of exercise every single day, whether that's a walk, a stretch, a PT, which I've just been to now. Um, I've also been listening to loads of podcasts and I've just been on like a real self acceptance, self improvement journey for the last 18 days and I feel like my mood honestly is up here. I am so happy. I wake up, I feel so motivated again. Everything's just going so well. Just on another dog walk. One thing about doing this challenge in October has been how gorgeous it's been to do a walk every day with my husband and my doggy. <laughs> and that the seasons have really changed right in front of my eyes since the start of this video. It's just so beautiful everywhere. Today is the 28th, so we are so close to be finishing the ring challenge. We're just about to go for a walk with Maxwell again. This is our Friday ritual now, walking Max as our hobby, <laughs> instead of drinking and going to the pub. Good. Yeah, hold it in that extended position and then bring it back slowly. Kick. Phenomenal. Phenomenal, guys. Good. Oh my god. Oh, look at that. Like it was never an issue. <laughs> Who is this chick? <laughs> It's not how it looked the first session. <laughs> Great work guys, nice. Okay, so that's core stability. We're gonna do a core strengthening exercise now. Good, nice, slow and controlled. Bum down a little bit more and look straight forward. That's good. Oh, that's good. This is the one. Good, control it, take your time. <laughs> Having fun. <laughs> now, after boxing, I am treating us to a humongous roast dinner, literally Christmas dinner, full trimmings, full red wine, and I'm going to thoroughly enjoy it. And I've already burned 641 calories and done all my rings nearly already. Woohoo! Guys, it's Monday the 31st and oh yeah, how aesthetically pleasing is that? I'm just so happy. I have never done a full week, never mind a full month. So I'm just so happy and proud of myself for doing it. Um, it's not been an easy <laughs> challenge, especially because it's been like so busy with work this month because um, obviously next month is like Black Friday and really busy time for the clothing industry in whole. So yeah, it's been a challenge, but at the same time, it's really helped me accomplish a lot of things at the same time because I feel like my mindset is so different to when I first started this video. I feel like I'm not struggling to get up in the morning anymore. I didn't drink for 30 days, which was amazing. And when I did have a drink, I instantly had a reaction in my eye again. So I feel like I am actually allergic to alcohol and that's really been shown in the fact that I didn't drink for 30 days and the first drink I did have, my eye started to swell. So I think that's something I've realized from this challenge. Um, and also when I first decided to do this challenge the first week, I actually looked into um, your menstrual cycle and exercising. because I thought, okay, if I'm already doing this challenge, I want to make sure that at certain times I can understand when I'm going to be more tired and like need to give myself a bit more of a mental push. And then other times when I'm actually going to have more energy and when to, you know, like optimize that and like get my PT sessions booked in with Ashley and do boxing and things like that. So that's really helped. I'll actually um, add a video that I watched in the description, a link down below so you can watch it too. But I ended up putting like, I ended up marking in my calendar at certain days like when I predicted that my estrogen would dip or when I thought that I might have more energy and things like that and it has actually really worked so I think that's helped me and I've learned a lot about my cycle and my body from that as well. Um, so yesterday we went and did boxing which I just showed you 
and I had so much energy to be able to do that and I'd actually already put in my calendar to do cardio that day because that's when apparently from the cycle from that video that I watched that I would be better at cardio rather than weights or rather than walking and things like that and I could really see that so I definitely think that's helped and it's also made me realise, I was actually saying this yesterday at Boxing to Lucy and Ashley, doing the challenge has really helped me to see how many days off I do have not in terms of like work, but in terms of like prioritizing work and not exercising or in terms of having a day off where I'm like, right, today I'm having a rest day, so I'm not gonna do anything. And my actual move on those days is so low, um, which obviously I'm encouraging people not to have a rest day because I think that's obviously a really important part of having a healthy lifestyle in itself but I was having probably a lot more of those than I thought I was. So it's really kept me accountable. And just moving more, like, like I just said, I feel so energized, so happy. Just, I don't know, I'm definitely gonna try and keep this up for November. I think the only difference of what I wanna try and do for November is a bit more of an extended challenge is um, my eating. So I haven't, because I've obviously I've been moving a lot more, I've been a lot more hungrier. So I have just literally been eating whatever I want. We've been having like multi-pack biscuits and, um, not really so many takeaways because we've been doing gusto, but just in general, like, I'm not making the healthiest of choices. So I think, again, I'm not trying to lose weight. I've said this so many times throughout this video, and I, I actually did weigh myself at the start of this video and at the end of this video, and I haven't actually lost any weight. But myself, I can feel that my body has, like, the composition has changed again and I just feel a lot healthier. And it's not about losing weight, it's about telling myself that Actually, I am being the healthiest version of myself by exercising more and started back with um, training boxing twice a week, which is so good, especially for mental health. I'm gonna move you because the sun is gleaming on me right now. So I've got my little, my little fox mug from Promite that they sent me, which is so cute. Having some lemon and ginger tea. But yeah, I feel like I've been on this like real self-awareness journey. I've listened to a lot of podcasts, which has been really good for my mental health. I've started therapy this month, which again has been really eye-opening um, to try and get to know myself, like saying actually how I feel. So I'm working on that mentally, physically moving more. And like I said, just generally being on this like real self-awareness, self-project and I feel so good for it. So I encourage anybody to see this as like motivation to get moving and set those goals. Like starting over the Christmas month, so it's gonna be a lot more temptation than there was in October. So I feel like I wanna really continue this um, I just don't want to come to January and be like, right, let's start a new me because, you know, this was one of my goals I said at the start of this video, this was one of my goals that I set myself to finish, well, to, to really prioritise this year. So I want to go into 2023 with this mindset. I feel like I've just, like it's actually a habit now wanting to move and exercise, like planning every day that I need to go for a walk or I need to go on the walk, the, um, walk pad or got my boxing in and stuff like that. So I feel like I've got that under control now, which was really hard for me with the whole getting back into exercise. As I've mentioned a few times on this channel that um, I hate working out from home and I need somebody to keep me engaged. So I feel like I've, got, I've cracked it now. I think the next stage is to increase it even more and be making healthier food choices because I've got Saturday going Gusto, which I love and I think is really helping us have a bit more of a balanced meal for an evening. But it's just through the day, like I'm I'm snacking or I'm having like Weetabix or I'm having porridge, which is fine. But then I'm not having five fruit and veg a day, which I feel like I do really need to do to, you know, up my health and make more, make better choices when it comes to eating better. So that is my next target. I also hit 100k subscribers this month so I just want to say thank you so much if you are one of those subscribers and if you haven't already please make sure you do give a subscribe to my channel and I wanted to do way more of these kind of like healthy habits um, videos really soon so thank you so much for watching I'll catch you in the next one bye